Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lauren from Lauren's Cravings over on Instagram. The video this week is going to be on traveling with a baby. So my baby is four and a half months old, or he was at the point of recording this video. He's now closer to five. It goes too quickly. Um, and someone had specifically requested, uh, you know, going traveling with a baby and what items do you need to take? And was there anything that we forgot the first time that we had to make sure that we took the second time? So because that was the second time that I travelled with Bryce, um, took him to Stonehaven the first time with my mum and we're just not long back last week from a, a four day trip down to Campbelltown, um, staying in self catering accommodation. So there will be differences based on whether you're going to stay at a hotel or self catering or otherwise and for the duration. But what I thought I would do was record the packing just to see if it would give you any helps, tips, pointers and just to kind of give you an overview of what I would typically take going away with a baby. Um, we took our own car, so obviously there was a bit of room. I discuss kind of different suggestions and things that you could do um, otherwise to save space. But I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if there's anything that you would take or wouldn't take from the list or if you think I've forgotten something because as you can probably tell from the videos that are about to come up, I done these just as I was packing the morning we were leaving. So hope you enjoy them. Let me know with a comment or a like and please subscribe if you like these videos and want to see more of them. Really appreciate it. Thanks. So to start, I start with sleep. So to sleep, Bryce is going to use the snooze pod. I have an estate car, so there is plenty of room. You can opt for a travel cot. You'll be taking the pram anyway, if they're still in the bassinet. If they're small enough, they can sleep in that, and that way you reduce space without having to take anything else. This is quite handy, just obviously I can put other items in it. So we take this snooze pod for them to sleep in, and I just kind of layer other items up in it, and it's quite handy. It's like a big crate almost. So snooze pod, we've got the sheets, in the bottom obviously it's already like made up what else i have in here is two sleeping bags so i've got a spare one because i'm going away for four days so i always take a spare one and i've actually got spare sheets as well for the snooze pod if there were to be anything that happens in addition to that for nighttime sleep stuff we have his monitor if we want to put him down in another room and go elsewhere and also this is totally optional and it's really only viable if you're going to take a car. I'm going to take his salt lamp simply because a harsh light can make him kind of wake up more through the night. I don't really use my bedside lamp at all anymore so I like being able to take this. It means I can change him in the dim light, I can feed him and he goes straight back to sleep afterwards. Next items are going to be transport. So obviously you've got the car seat in the car, I'm assuming. We're going to take the pram. Um, so I've got them on the incline one, nice John Lewis liner in here. I've also got some blankets at the bottom. Now in the off chance obviously that he soils, his sleeping bags and his sheets and whatnot, you're going to want to take some blankets in case you need to layer them up and start using blankets. So that is another backup as well. And then the only other item, because I do find it really handy, totally up to you if you want to just stick with the pram, but it doesn't take up much space, I've got my baby born carrier. So baby carrier, so if I just want to pop out or jump to the shop or anything at all, really leave the pram in the car if we want to get out on the ferry because we're going to go over to Gia, then maybe we'll use the carrier. So I just tie that up and I'll probably stick that in the changing bag that I'm going to prep up as well. And that is all the transport items. So I haven't done this before, all I really need for Bryce is this changing bag that I got off Amazon. Um, it's linked in one of my highlights, the baby items highlights if you want it. It's big enough and then just a small bag where I actually put all his like clothes, which I will put away in little um, sandwich bags so that they're easy to grab and you can have a wee look at like separate items and you're not having to rifle through to make up an outfit. So in this, what I'm going to do is put the baby born carrier in there. And I also have kitchen roll. I always have kitchen roll just in case. So we're going to put that down a side pocket. We've also got Sudacrem. Nobody's wanting nappy rash, regardless of where we are in the country. A price. Wipes, obviously. So I use water wipes, just a personal choice. And then nappies, you can make the decision on how many nappies. Um, 
Bryce isn't doing dirty nappies as much anymore. When he was a lot younger, he was. You would need to take more in that case. He probably does maybe two dirty nappies a day and the rest are just wet and he's actually getting through just like one nappy through the night. So you know your baby, factor that in and then add a, a couple of extra as well just to make sure you've got enough. Depending on where you are, you might have a shop available. So if, God forbid, anything were to happen, you could go to a shop and purchase some if you had to. So I'm factoring in probably about five nappies for a day, five, six nappies a day, but I'm going to take an additional day's worth. Being in mind we're on Monday, we're coming back to uh, Thursday. So five and five, five and five. So I will have plenty. And then they're just fitting down this one section within a bag. And then almost my spares just in another little pouch section as well. To this, I'm then going to add any kind of like items you know he needs to take on a daily basis. So your vitamin D drops and also I'm going to take his teething powder because he's taking that just now. Um, and also a wee teething mitt. So I'll just put that in one of the pouches. The joys of this bag is literally you have so many different compartments and pouches and loads of different kind of like things to use. Bottle areas and whatnot as well. Um, and we'll get along to that. I actually put some of the stuff that's technically for me, but used for him. So like pump, an electric pump, your bottles. And then if you are bottle feeding or need to like clean the same bottles, you would then need to take your sterilizer as well. So again, purely down to how long you're going to go for and how many you have. Isn't that right, Bryce? So got my pump stick that in the front pouch or in the top. I use two pumps so that I don't need to take the charger and I've got two bottles there as well. I'm also going to take little clippers because their nails grow like billy -o and it's always handy to have them. So I'll probably actually just store these in this bag going forward, just in case. I've also got muslins in the back pouch here, critical. You use them lots. Um, I'm also taking masks, quite handy to just have in your changing bag, unless you, if you forget to take them in another kind of way. Um, you know you'll always have your changing bag. And then Bryce doesn't take dummies, but take some dummies as well if you your baby uses dummies. The next thing that you're going to want to think about that I actually forgot the first time is where you're going to put the baby when you're not holding them. So I take a play mat. Um, I've got my Love Ivory mat as well, but I'm just going to take this play mat so we can sit them down, do some tummy time and whatnot. not. Um, I also take a changing mat. You can use your travel changing mat if you want, but I take a changing mat because we're staying in self-catering. You see he's in a bouncy chair here. If I'll thing it round for you. We are going to take that because he loves sitting in that and it's pretty much what I put him in when I'm not holding him the majority of the time. And I also take a nursing pillow because feeling that you can actually just make a wee U and they can sit there as long as you're supervising them. So, and I take that obviously for feeding them as well. Really handy to have in the car because it means, you know, you're not having to kind of like hold the baby. I cruise cross cradle. You can also eat whilst they're propped on this. So nursing pillow, mat, bouncy chair and anything else that you want to take depending on what age your baby is. So I've given Bryce a bath before we left. Um, we might give him a wee shower or whatever when we're there. If you're wanting to actually bath them, if you're going away for a week or more, you'll need to take your baby bath. Think of towels, think of your, your wash, your body wash and whatnot, and any shampoo if you're going to use it as well. I'm just going to stick the monitor in here. And we're nearly finished packing this bag, and then I'm just going to go on to doing his clothes. So travel changing mat. And as I said, I'm actually going to take a big changing mat as well to leave in the house. And did I not say this was quite helpful as a crate? So even in that, I've got his sleeping bag, his change of sheets, his changing mat, his play mat, the nursing pillow, the changing bag. And then all I really need to do now is his clothes. And then I can just also stick this light in here, the joy of taking your own car. And then I'm just going to put this in the car to begin with. Also the pram, break that down, stick that in the car. You want the big chunky stuff at the bottom and then other things that you can just lift out or you might need on the drive, on the top or right at the end so that it's easily accessible. Now just to show you me doing these, you can opt for whatever you want, but I actually use these bags, got them in Lidl and you can either put specific items in it. So I have one for vests, one for sleep suits. Sleep suits I probably will just put in one. But otherwise, I put individual little outfits in the bags and it just means that you can grab it out and you know it's a full outfit. So 
just going to get his clothes sorted don't forget bibs don't forget socks don't forget hats and additional muslins if you feel you need them so prep your clothing for your little one So that's me got the clothes organized just taking an extra large muslin just as an extra like blanket muslin everything i've got two jackets he's wearing a little cardigan i've got a hoodie and i've also got like a kind of like rain jacket type thing i've got all his sleep suits i've got bibs he's got one on and i've got a hat in there i've got socks within the outfits and i've got one two three four five six seven outfits and we're going for about four days so as you can tell it's obviously quite a few extras but you can never go wrong really um and it doesn't take up much space so that is all of Bryce's clothes ready to go so little additional things as well if you want to take a hairbrush um toys to keep them amused depending on what age they are I'm probably going to take this he's got his bouncy chair and I'll maybe take a rattle or two as well and that is us all packed for the baby and he is four and a half months old already aren't you don't forget to pack for yourself that's also equally critical so take as much care packing for you to make sure all your needs are met in addition to your baby hope you have a good time i hope you found the video helpful if you could like and subscribe if you like these types of videos and leave a comment if you think i've missed anything because I probably have. I'm still learning too. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. Still room there for my mum to put her stuff. Baby stuff, toys, pram, nursing pillow. So pack that away. And in here we've got his chair and my items as well. So let's go.